Hello there, my name is Jack Edwards and welcome to my YouTube channel. This week I wanted to share a story with you, um, a little tale from something stupid that I did in Washington DC. So a couple of weeks ago I went to the States with my college, we went to Washington DC to look at um, the political stage and the separations of power, yada 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 yada. A couple of months before the trip we had to take our passports into college because um, our teachers were going to apply for us to go for a tour around the White House and the Pentagon. These things have to be arranged months and months in advance, so you have to send off your passport details, the White House or the Pentagon checks it, and they do background searches and checks on you to make sure that you're like an okay person to come into the heights of their national security. So anyway, our applications are approved. We get into the Pentagon, but not to the White House because Melania Trump hasn't yet set up the White House tours or something like that. Thanks, Mel. So yeah, we find out a week in advance um, before we go on the trip that our application for the Pentagon has been approved. You cannot forget your passport for that. Obviously you need your passport to get on the trip. So they're like, have your passport at all times. And we're on the trip, everything's going well. We get to the day of our Pentagon visit. So it was a Tuesday morning, we were in the hotel, we were packing our bag, packed my passport in, I'm going to everyone in my room. Guys, do not forget your passports. Remember, we need them to get into the Pentagon. It's so important that you have your passports. No one forget their passports. So, go down to the lobby, the tour guide for our group says, oh, um, by the way, you can't take bags into the Pentagon, so you're probably best to take that back to your room. Go back up to my room in the lift, leave my bag behind, grab all my important stuff and go, or so I thought. So we get the train to Pentagon City, we were staying on Pennsylvania Avenue. All the while I'm going to everyone, right, has everyone got their passports? Are we all good? Yeah, everyone's got their passports. Okay, we're fine. So we get to the Pentagon, It's you obviously can't take any pictures, it's very high security, and when we got outside we all had to line up, so there were 55 of us and we had to line up in alphabetical order. It was like some icebreaker game. Each person goes up one by one in alphabetical order, shows their passport, and they're given their visitor's pass. They basically need to see your passport with your passport number to identify that the person that they've done all their background searches on is actually you. So we're in the queue, um, ready to go up to the booth. I'm next, still in my pockets. Where's my passport? Oh shit, I've not got my passport. Obviously I'm thinking, oh my God, I've left it on the train. It's fallen out of my pocket somewhere. Like how am I going to leave this country? I whisper to my teacher, um, I haven't got my passport. So he's like, right, idiot. At this point I'm next in the queue. So my name's called, I have to walk up to the booth and say to the big scary Pentagon man, I've forgotten my passport, but I do have my driving license. So is there any way that I can still go in please? And so the Pentagon man is like, no. My teacher then came and stood with me and waited while all of the rest of our group went into the Pentagon. I'm sticking out like a lamb chop at a vegan festival because I'm standing there like being held by security guards. Eventually the supervisor comes out. At this point I remember that my passport was in the bag that I'd left back at the hotel room. So my teacher and I got back on the train um, and went back towards Pennsylvania Avenue, knowing that we didn't have enough time to get back for this tour. And can I just say, my teacher, he was going to miss a tour of the Pentagon, which he's never done, by the way, for me, because of my own stupidity. He's just one of the nicest people in the whole world. So we get back to the Pennsylvania Avenue station. My teacher says to me, like, you just go, I'll wait at the station. You can probably run a lot faster than I can, so I'll wait for you here. So I just sprinted, like my life depended on it. I have honestly never run so fast. Also, can I just say, we'd been in Washington for like two or three days, so I had no idea where I was going. I, it was really lucky that I actually found the hotel, to be honest. So I run into the hotel lobby, go to grab my key, to get into the lift. I haven't got my room key either, because my room key is in the Pentagon. So then I'm like, great, I've just done all that running and I don't even have my room key. So I said to the um, receptionist, uh, hello, like I couldn't even speak because I was so out of breath, like I was so exhausted that I just like couldn't even get words out of my mouth. So I'm just saying like words at him, I'm like, please, Pentagon key, need passport. And he's like, what the hell is this guy doing? <laughs> so he basically said that he couldn't let me into my room because I didn't have the room key. And because I was on a college trip, he needed my supervisor to be there to let me into the rooms because all the bookings were under his name. Obviously my teacher was back at the station, so I lied and said that he was also in the Pentagon and that I'd come back on my own. The receptionist is like, nah, sorry, I'm not letting you in. Like, you haven't got a key. I have no way of authorizing that it's you. By a stroke of luck, it just so happens that the security guard for the hotel is also behind the desk at this point, picking up some lunch or something. He, he turns to me and he says, I'll take you. So he's got the master key. So he takes me upstairs. I literally pegged it down the corridor. This guy was in no rush. Like this security guard, although he saved the day, 
He was in no rush to do so. I got to my hotel room, he opened the door. Obviously at this point I'm wondering, is my passport actually in here? Because I still am not really sure. Walk into my room, passport is there on my bed. I'm like, thank God. The stupid thing is, is that I was the one telling everyone, make sure you got your passports, make sure you got your passports. Anyway, so I run back down the corridor, run down Pennsylvania Avenue again, back to the station. My teacher's standing there just eating his little pack of chili Doritos and I ran past him and I'm like, George! Come on! Run down the escalators, went through the gates, and luckily there was a train coming in one minute. So we hopped onto the Miracle train and went back towards the Pentagon. Now at this point it was eight minutes to 11, and the train journey on the way down we timed as taking us exactly eight minutes, so we knew that we were gonna be really tight for time. So the train pulls into the station, the doors open, and I just ran for my life. So I'm running up the escalator, go through the gates, run into the pentagon with my teacher closely behind and there's a massive queue of people to go in. Luckily the security guard spotted us and ordered the crowd to move out of our way. They parted like the Red Sea for us. It was so cool. He checks our passports, gives us our visitors passes and then we get a police escort through the pentagon. What? So after thanking every single member of staff at the Pentagon, I'm reunited with my group and everyone cheers when we walk in because obviously they know that I wasn't allowed into the Pentagon. All of the Pentagon security people are really confused because they're like, why are people applauding this person? What, like, <laughs> why is it so special that they've got in? Have they killed somebody? And I'm like, so this doesn't happen every time I walk into a room, I swear. So anyway, I made it onto my tour of the Pentagon with literally seconds to spare. I was so lucky. That was the story of the time that I was not allowed into the Pentagon because um, I forgot to bring my passport to one of the highest security places in the whole world. I am such a mug, honestly. I should have PG tips and boiling water inside me. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. I make new videos every Monday and that was the worst drum roll ever. But announcement, I'm going to be uploading to my blog every Thursday from now on. So new YouTube videos every Monday and new blog posts every Thursday, so. Don't say I don't treat you. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you have a lovely day. If you ever go to the Pentagon, bring your passport and goodbye.